Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome out to another episode of Machete Monday. We have the Harbor Freight Special. Let's see, what's this? Uh, the Gordon, the Gordon uh, Serrated Machete 18 inch blade. Uh, resist rust and corrosion. Help keep blade sharper, longer. Sharp saw tooth back for sawing through thick brush and vines. Well, you would not believe what I have in store for you, Gordon. We have my favorite little slice of hell. And uh, this is uh, some of the thickest stuff that I could think of. And we're gonna start off soft with it and uh, just see just see where it goes from there, right? So uh, we picked this thing up for less than $6. I think it was like $5.58 after tax or something like that. Make sure I don't give myself a haircut. Get my knife out try not to cut this beautiful sheath that came with and uh we're just gonna get in there oh no there's cardboard on the ground what are we going to do see you need a knife to open up a knife i guess this thing's being pretty stubborn yeah i, I did i cut into the sheath right there okay well i kind of had a feeling that this sheath wasn't going to be all that great anyway because i mean what what are you going to be getting for six dollars oop and i just found that saw back yep god love a saw back should have known solo get it together man it's uh it's about 5 30 monday afternoon i've been cramped inside the office all day oh yeah that's a uh that's a special kind of turd right there buddy um yeah, so we're going to give it a fair shake, and we're going to start it off on some brush. Uh, the handle, well, the handle feels like crap. It's, uh, I'm going to leave my glasses on for this because I'm kind of worried that it's, well, that it's going to hurt me. So, all right, we're just going to get in there. Yeah, it's like Fisher Price, man. It's like my first machete. All right, we're cutting. We're kind of breaking more than we're cutting but it's definitely cutting so far straight out of the package this is some pretty woody veg this is ilex glabra this is what we call it ink berry um, we've got some ilex vomitoria some yopon holly mixed up in there uh, some scuppernine vine some, let's see, we got some kind of green briar, some kind of thorn. Man, that thing is duller than a ding dong right out of the package. And that saw back is just grabbing everything that I'm chopping on. So it's really slinging stuff back at me. This handle is terrible. It's, I can't even cut this branch. Y'all can't see. All right saw back we haven't done a saw back in a while uh, if you want a saw i say get a saw it kind of looks like this one has some pretty aggressive teeth and well they are kind of staggered and it definitely poked me in my tender little thummy right there but uh hey man so far so good I am impressed, Gordon. Gordon! Gordon! Let's go find something harder. Okay, so we're back at my house. And I was thinking on the drive home, let's just talk about this blade for a second. So, I did a little boo-boo, opening this thing up. Cut the sheath right there. Um, eventually, this saw back would cut that sheath open in and out unless you were very careful with it that's not a huge deal uh, if you bought this thing for uh, I, I don't know what you would buy this thing for maybe an impulse buy and you just decided to take take very extra special care of putting this thing in and out of this sheath uh, I'm sure it would last you however long you made it last um, we're talking about a Chinese machete here and 
I think we got some luck of the draw going on because this thing already did better in that woody vegetation than the Rothko did. And you remember the Rothko was a $20 machete. So here we are with a $6 machete and we do, we've got some, we've got some staggering going on in those teeth. And uh, I would imagine that this would saw some wood. I got a limb over here, hang on. Yeah. So this is a piece of water oak that fell in my yard. And let's make sure you guys can see what's going on. Somebody's gonna tell me that I'm doing it wrong, but that's all right. I'll let you go start your own YouTube channel. Show everybody how to do it right. Yeah, so it notches wood. It'll notch some wood, but it's, and it's not loading up too terrible, but we're making some notches. Yeah, um, and I think that's what you would want a saw back for, right? I don't think you would want a saw back to actually do any kind of sawing with, because that's just, it's just cumbersome. Um, there's no, I don't know. This channel ain't about saws. Okay, so we've got this oak here, this piece of hardwood, and let's just get in here with this Gordon. Yeah, she bites. That handle is not fun. Yeah. Yeah, all right. It's definitely hardwood, man. There's nothing punky about this. Yeah. Okay. That's a two inch piece at least. And we have a bend. Houston, we have a problem. Um, our, bait is, our blade has taken a bend. Y'all can see that now. Uh, maybe we could bend, bend that back out without hurting ourselves. I hear, I hear some tinking going around in there. That's indicative of like a stress fracture somewhere. That's what's gonna happen with these little, these little valleys in this saw. Eventually that's going to, well, it's gonna end up breaking somewhere. We're nice and warm where we've been chopping that wood. Let's go get the big boy. All right, the test dump. What we're all here for, these sawbacks. Make these videos a bit longer than they need to be. But uh, yeah, we did every other machete on some fat wood. So we're gonna do this on some fat wood. The last short that I made, we had a guy in the peanut gallery come in and say, insanely bad angle for chopping. <laughs> and I thought, okay, uh, I'll try to do better. Uh, this, this one's for you, Chief. Ooh. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Hey, look, we're bending back the other way now. Yeah. Ow. That handle. It's not fun. some of that yeah, good fat wood boy and we're stuck yeah okay yeah, all right all right well we didn't get as deep as some of the other ones got but we are we've got a nasty bend the other way now and I uh all right I honestly don't want to go any further because I don't want a piece of this machete coming back at me with this saw back. Look, I know that machetes are not intended to chop fat wood and chop hardwood. Uh, there's a lot of machetes out there that can at affordable prices. So thank you guys for being here. Thanks for commenting. Thanks for liking and subscribing. 
We'll see you next time. Ain't no need to write a song.